Okay, what we have here is what is called the Spiked Sword of the Highlands from the latest Bud K catalog. It is a pretty fantastic reproduction uh, wall hanger. Of course, it's not designed for cutting. It does have a unsharpened edge and it's a it's a beast. It is pretty identical to what's in the movie. Uh, you've got a very very high gloss satin finish on there it's definitely a fingerprint magnet but and i do like that they have a actually solid rounded uh, end cap there or pommel there's no hollow points or like anything to make you think that this is like really a cheap cheap imitation but it is definitely a wall hanger. Maybe you could do a little reenacting or swinging it around and so forth. Uh, it does come with this wall hanger here with some hardware. I'd say about the only drawback of it, aside from it not being sharpened, is that it, you have to manually uh, do the spikes. But aside from that, for just over 66 bucks, this is pretty hard to be considering what it is and uh, I think you'd be quite pleased with it if this is something that you've always wanted but didn't want to spend an arm and a leg for so there you go spike sword of the highlands aka the Kurgan sword finally got it to the collection along with my other Highlander swords here and uh, can't recommend it enough if that's what you're looking for. You won't be disappointed, uh, I don't think. Aside from it uh, having a very, very fine printed stamp of China on it, which is hardly noticeable, for what you're paying and what you're getting, it's, a, it's definitely a, a score. So there you go. Spike Sword of the Highlands from Bud K.